What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Neo with the decrease of my NIO. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please trade at your own risk. So if you guys want to see more of Neo, I cover it every Monday. But if you guys want to see more of it, maybe twice a week, maybe three times a week, maybe four times a week, just leave a like, leave a comment down below. I'm here to give you guys what you want to see. So uh, let's, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at Neo's daily chart. So what has happened? Well, it's got kind of going exactly how I predicted, where we were kind of consolidating above the low fives. I saw, I thought we were going to get a push up higher, which we did, and it was basically just a long trap. So traders entered long above here at the you know 540 level, and they put the stop loss below the five dollar level. So they're like, okay, well if I'm if price doesn't go higher, I want to get out. And look what happened. We had a big red candle that took them out. Why? Because we had a double top, price had one leg down, a bounce, and we're in the formation of the second leg and is headed towards the uh, 450. So the mid $4 level is the potential target. So you can see this is all one large leg right here. Market generally moves in twos. So one impulse correction. We're looking for the second impulse targeting right around the 450. Is it guaranteed to get there? No, it's not. It can always stop right here. Since this is a breakout, it could fail and immediately reverse up higher. So I'm expecting a bounce from that level and a possible another large leg up, either from where we are right now or a little bit lower. Is it guaranteed? No, but it is likely. Why? Because if you zoom out, you look at the bigger picture, price broke through this uh, $7 level back over here in uh, January of this year. So this was prior strong support. Let me go and show you guys that right now. This was strong support right over here. Price broke through it. And then it has not come back to retest it. So this is the first strong. It did try to retest it a couple of times over here that failed. But this is the first large attempt to retest it. And we're seeing a correction. There's a good chance of seeing a second push up higher. Is it guaranteed? No, but it is likely. So as right now, that's what's occurring. There's a, there's a breakout of the $5 level. It could fail. If it does, uh, we're going to see a large rally higher. I want to see a break above this trend line. So if we can do something like this, maybe... Um, get back above this level right here and get outside that trend line. I think there's a very good shot, maybe back up, back to the 535 level, 536. There's a very good chance of retesting that double top and possibly break it to reach, you know, somewhere around the low seven. So that's how I'm looking at Neo. Uh, if that doesn't occur, if we continue to stay below this trend line right over here, then where is it going? Like I said before, the mid four dollar level, 450, and then possibly uh, these gap fills over here and the most noticeable one at the 412 and maybe even a new low of this downtrend but as right now i still think we can see a uh push up higher so we'll see but we'll, we'll see what happens in the short term for neo let's take a look at the weekly chart here's a look at the weekly chart overall had a, a large pump up higher sold off a lot of times price comes right back where it started and that's exactly what happened we're seeing a little bounce up higher looking for another uh, push up is it guaranteed? No, you can see that price is struggling to get above that EMA. Uh, continues to you know stay below it, which tells me overall price is still in a downtrend. Uh, I'm just expecting another push up higher, you know, towards that low sevens. Uh, for me to be really bullish, it would need to break this downward trend line right over here. Because if you connect it off the first two swings, connect this swing right here to this swing, you have the third touch right here, and then with the third touch it comes and meets the fourth touch right here. So overall, this could be a resistance level if price comes back up to it. So it, need, it would need to break it for a sustainable uptrend. Until then, uh, short-term bearish for NEO, possibly a little bit lower, uh, but there could be a strong reversal taking place anytime now. Look out for that. Looking out for you know the low sevens. Let's see if we can get back above that level. Um, if not, you know there's a very good chance that price could reach this measurement target right here. This is all one leg right here. This is the second leg targeting right around the $1.60 level. Um, so that is a measure move target. So this is all one large leg right here. Price pull back. This is the first attempt. This is the second attempt. And once if the second attempt fails, we could see a large rally higher. So we'll see what happens for NEO. But it needs to reverse and get back above the um, you know $5 level um, very quickly we do have earnings reports sometime in early june as well in about 13 days so we'll see how accurate that is but as right now that's all i have for new on the daily weekly charts 
Let me know what you guys want in the comments down below. This is B Trace, and thank you for your time.